Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do a financial read, okay? If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Okay, Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well, hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So it's interesting because <laughs> the rushing hearts of love came out. That's usually associated with love with me. But, and it's so weird because I heard that song, um, how did you get here? You're not supposed to be here. I've tried this love thing for the last time. Uh, what is it? My heart's saying, oh no, or something like that. And I'm like, what is going on? This is supposed to be a financial reading. So I don't know if spirits like hijacking the reading, like we're going to read about what I said we're going to read about, or if you're going to be meeting somebody that you really like at work, Gemini, you could meet somebody and fall for them at work or there's something about that, okay? You meet them through work, they work with you, uh, they're a, a partner, an associate is what I'm getting from like a sister or cousin company or something like that maybe. Maybe you're like going to a meeting or I'm hearing like a work event or something and you meet somebody and so you meet them through work but they don't work directly with you. That is for somebody, okay? Um, also, that song, uh, How Did You Get Here? You're Not Supposed to Be Here. There could be somebody that feels that way about you at work. Like, you're not supposed to be here. Like, how did you get here? How did you get this job? <laughs> I hate to say that, Gemini, but somebody might be hating or might feel that way, like you're underqualified or overqualified for somebody, okay? Um, people could definitely be intimidated by you, for sure, like wondering how you got your job, how you do what you do, uh, things like that, okay? There could be a lot of recognition that's also coming your way when this card comes out, okay, Gemini? So you could be feeling lately, um, or you will be soon, feeling like maybe you're getting a lot of praise or people are recognizing your work, they're recognizing your hard um, work and effort that you've put into something, Gemini. There could be an unexpected praise that comes your way, like somebody unexpectedly gives you a nice shout out and you're like oh wow I didn't think they noticed what I was doing or that anybody like somebody could shout out something that you they weren't aware that somebody saw that you did like maybe you worked really hard on a project and you're just like whatever that's part of my job you know and somebody is really happy with it I'm getting like a lot of love or a lot of praise coming your way in regards to work okay I'm also getting the energy with this card of doing what you love okay there could be something about that maybe you're tired of, you know, maybe you're tired of just waking up doing the same thing every single day, Gemini. Maybe that's what it feels like for you. Like, oh my gosh, I wake up, I do the same thing every single day. We have a handshake. Oh, this is too much, guys. I was going to take it, but it's just way too much. I'm not trying to complicate this reading. Anyways, let me finish what I was channeling. Um, you, you wake up and you do the same thing every single day and you're just kind of like, eh. I want to do something I'm passionate about. I want to feel passionate. I want to feel like vigorated when I get out of bed. Like, yes, I'm ready to crush this project or go do this. Or if you work in like medical, like, you know, care or something, I want to go save lives or help people or I'm going to make a difference today. Like, you know, I just feel like you want to have your work connected to your heart space. You want to feel connected to what you're doing for work for some of you guys. And there could be an opportunity coming that's going to open that up, okay? Um, it's going to take some kind of leap of faith, Gemini, or it is going to take you believing in yourself, trusting that the divine has your back for sure. But I do feel that energy. Like I want to do what I feel connected to. Okay. What do we have here for Gemini? Um, money wise. Okay. We have December. I'll put it right here. <coughs> so December could definitely be significant for some of you guys. Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. What do we have here for money? Money for Gemini. We have the Caterpillar. I always do that. I'm like, right? Because I got to read it. I can't see. Anyways, uh, Caterpillar, it says prepping ahead of time, gathering resources, things that will not always be this way and a change is coming. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. That kind of feels like what I was talking about. 
I feel like for some of you guys, yes, there is a change that is coming, Gemini. You're not going to always be in the situation that you're in right now. So Spirit is saying to go ahead and prep, get ready for this. That's that energy of something rushing towards you, but it's good, you know? So gather your resources, save your money, um, and make sure that you are focusing on the good things and the blessings that could come your way. Staying grateful the whole time is the energy I'm getting. Okay, guys, hold on. Stuff is popping, but we did have another month pop out. This popped out too with this month. We have April, Aries, Taurus energy. Okay, happy new year because the spring for me is like the beginning of the year for me. So this is definitely talking about a new beginning here. And then we have the egg that wanted to come out. It says success assured with good plans and hard work. Okay, so that does go together. There's a massive potential to grow right now and odds are in your favor. And then it says something hatches. So yes, Gemini, something is definitely, there's like a road here that's going to be opening up soon or there's a new beginning that is coming Gemini and you are being asked to prepare for this while you're in almost like this incubation period or this waiting period of getting ready I feel like it's not really waiting it's getting ready next to this caterpillar spirits asking you to save your money um, get focused on what you want to actually grow for yourself what you want to invest in make the calls you need to make okay clear out the stuff you need to clear out it's kind of almost this energy of getting yourself prepared for change getting yourself prepared for something to hatch Okay, I'm hearing, um, looking over the documents carefully, I, I don't know, so for some of you guys, you might need to meet with some lawyers or go get something notarized, or you need to look over something carefully, especially if there's like a collab or somebody is trying to um, get you to invest in their business. We have August, it just popped out. Damn, we're getting a, a couple months here, okay? So Leo Virgo energy, school returns. That's interesting. It's like we have December. So there's like this frosty energy. Something is thawing out with the spring that's coming through. And it's like a new beginning that you're going on. And then we have school returns. I always think of like school as like you're learning, right? So you could be learning something new here or navigating through a new situation. We have kite that came out. It says cruise, running away for a while, a short break in a relationship. That's interesting. And then getting flown out vacation. I actually think what this is talking about is a short break in whatever this is that you're working on right now. There might be a slight pause, Gemini, in between jobs or in between situations. Or maybe you leave something behind here with this caterpillar. You get ready to go into the cocoon, which I'm thinking about this cocoon and it's making me think about this egg, right? Like feeling like you're almost in the dark almost to your own situation and the growth that's happening, especially in regards to your money. So yes, I do feel like there could be some kind of short break or short pause or a feeling of like, okay, I know what my next step is. I have everything set up and I do have like a couple weeks or a couple months to chill or I can just feel rest assured that everything is going to turn out okay, right? Success is assured with good plans and hard work. I'm doing my part over here, so I don't have to worry. I know things are going to work out for me, especially moving into this uh, spring, summer type of energy. You're definitely going to be feeling this. And for some of you guys, there could have even been this energy here in the December of like this winter that we're going through currently in some parts of the world, obviously. Um, it's feeling like it has been a winter, like something has died off or you've you've changed, like your focus has changed, your goals have changed, okay, when it comes to money. What is this that's trying to pop? The grasshopper, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have trap wire walking on eggshells y'all okay walking on eggshells it says somebody may be feeling touchy in situations in the balance that require careful handling that's so interesting i feel like that really does go with those cards like you know you're about to leap into a new situation here with that grasshopper and i do feel like with the walking on eggshells it's almost like you leap out of this shell you leap out of this cocoon and i don't know i don't know i just that's how i connected that okay <laughs> this just fell off the deck. We're not going to take it, but dog far away, spirit guides, long distance relationship, a distant friend is thinking of you and an ex wanting to reach out. So there could be something that maybe it was like a distant dream for you to be able to do this in regards to your career. Okay. And then this came out, the tiger. Danger abound, reckless energy, doing something risky and taking a chance. Ooh, ooh, Gemini. Because didn't I say that? Didn't I say that there was this energy of maybe having to take a risk here or having to take a chance, having to take a leap here with this grasshopper? So some of you guys, yeah, something in your money, like, you know, I feel like something could be ending so something can begin or you've already 
decided that this is not the direction you want to go in. You want to go in a new direction or you have a new focus or you have new plans, new ideas, new dreams, right? And this is still in the beginning stages here. Like we see the egg and the caterpillar, like you're just getting started to this change or you're just seeing that this is something that's going to be a reality or it's something that could really have some potential here with this egg. But I do feel like at a certain point, you're going to be asked to take the leap. So there's going to be moments of rest. There's going to be moments of action. There's going to be moments of having to use your discernment too, because you don't want to be reckless. You don't want to get into a dangerous situation. If you are doing something risky, if you are taking a chance, like maybe, you know, leaving jobs, switching jobs, doing something completely different, right? It is a little bit of a risk. Okay. So spirits asking you to take calculated risks. Okay. But I do feel like something good is coming of this, okay? Like the changes that are happening are going to be very positive is what I'm getting. Uh-oh, do we want to get another card? This is way too much. Let's see. Oh, oh, too much again. But the pale, get out of the situation. Maybe that's what you're trying to do right now. Like maybe there's some kind of energy of like, I'm trying to change my financial situation right this moment, okay? We have the owl that came out. So you guys are seeking some kind of wisdom and guidance right now. You are listening to your intuition and you could get some good advice from somebody. So if you're not sure about taking a chance or leaping into a new situation, it's like you could get some really good advice from somebody. All right. Yeah, I don't know, Gemini. It's almost like that song that I was getting in the beginning. Um, How did you get here? You're not supposed to be here. I've tried this love thing for the last time. My heart's saying, oh, no. This could definitely be related to work. I don't know why they gave me that song, but it really could be. It's like, how did you get here? Being the new opportunity or the new path that I want to take. You're not supposed to be here because everything's going okay. It's safe. It's comfortable. It might be steady for some of you guys. And it's like, I tried this love thing for the last time. I've taken risks before. Okay, I'm not trying to take a risk. Everything is good right now. I've built my foundation up and my heart's saying, oh no, I feel like I might want to though, right? I feel like I might need to take a risk. It might be time. Um, some of you guys have taken this leap before. Or you've been through this before. Okay, Gemini. So let's see, what's up with this caterpillar energy? Things are not going to always be this way, Gemini. A change is coming. What is this? What is this change here for Gemini in regards to finances, please? We have the Ace of Cups. Wow, with the Seven of Cups, Gemini, I kind of get this energy of like you've been sacrificing a lot. Maybe sacrificing again what feels good to you. Like you've been doing something because that's what you're supposed to do or that's what you need to do. It's given me like I got to pay my bills. So I go and I, you know, bag groceries at the Piggly Wiggly. But really, I want to, you know, be a writer or something. Okay. Or really, I want to go back to school. Or really, I want to become an artist. Or really, I want to start selling my products or whatever this is, Gemini. Okay. It's like, the change here that's coming is that you're going to have some options to move into, again, something that it feels connected to your heart space in regards to finances. Like you want to feel connected to what you're doing. Okay. Some of you guys, this is definitely coming from a space of like creativity. For some of you guys, it's spiritual. For others of you, this could definitely just be things that make you feel good. Okay. Or where you're helping other people. Some of you guys do want to be of service. There's something about that with these doves that are in the background too. I feel like your guides are very connected to you right now, giving you a lot of signs, letting you know there's so many options out there, way more than you're even aware of, okay? So for some of you, there is this need to kind of do research, look into some things, don't just leap, you know? Some of you guys feel so burnt out on what you're doing right now or just in general feeling tired, okay? Um, there's this energy of, you know, kind of refueling yourself, is what I'm getting to, like taking a moment to just appreciate yourself, to relax. Look, we have two aces. So, <laughs> look. And I know this feeling too, because I've been in between jobs plenty of times in my life, okay? And I've also been in the situation too, where I left a job, I had another job lined up, but there was a gap, okay? For somebody who's used to working, somebody who's used to grinding, it's hard to just trust and relax and just do everyday things and not worry about producing, filling some kind of spot or number, um, you know, building something, whatever it is that you're working on, caring for other people, right? You're into this routine. You're, you know, so for some of you guys, there could be something where you are going to have like a little bit of a pause and spirit is saying to nourish yourself during this time. Okay. And let this seed grow, whatever this is. You don't have to stress about anything is what spirit is saying. There is a new beginning that's being offered to you or something that you have kind of 
it almost feels like brought to yourself, right? You're beginning something. Maybe you're starting your own business or branching out on your own or something like that, Gemini. But whatever this new beginning is, Spirit is saying rest assured that it is coming and you don't have to stress. You don't have to constantly do, 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 go, 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 right? If you want to take a moment to relax, you can. Um, something is happening in your favor here is what I'm getting here, big time. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is a wish card too, so there is a wish fulfillment that's coming through. What is this egg? Because it's saying that your success is assured with good plans, so Spirit does want you to plan um, to continue to, uh-oh, y'all. Did that card really have to flow like that? Oh. The way that flew, it was just disrespectful too, so I'm not even going to take it. Okay, <laughs> I'm just like, we're going to pull another card. But anyways, what is this success? It will be assured with good plans and hard work, okay? Wow. Seven of Swords. That's interesting. Okay, so I have a couple messages here. For some of you guys, there's going to be an ending that's going to come. You didn't see it coming. You will feel a little betrayed when it comes to work, but this is actually a good thing, okay? This is giving you time to see the potential in a different area, Gemini, and this is also going to allow something that you've already wanted to kind of work on or develop more. It's going to give you the energy to be able to do that because if you're not focusing all your energy on this, then you can do that. It's that kind of energy, but you are going to feel a little bit like something was kind of like you didn't see something coming or something was being done behind the scenes the whole time and you weren't aware until the last minute okay that is for some of you guys for others you guys this could be reversed where you're the one that's trying to sneak away from something and people aren't aware of that and you're trying to get yourself out of this situation you're taking the knowledge you're taking what you know what you've learned and you're leaving okay Another scenario I'm getting with this is that this Seven of Swords is talking about strategy because we do see that, good plans and hard work. This is not going to be like the shortcut route, okay, for sure with that Seven of Swords. Like I'm almost getting the energy of like you're not going to be able to take a shortcut with this. But if you can plan, if you can kind of, this is also saying to kind of keep things to yourself as you're moving, Gemini. This can end up being very joyful is what I'm getting. I'm also getting that, yes, whoever was doing things, if that resonates, okay? And it might not resonate yet. It might resonate here in the future, okay? So if it resonates that somebody did go behind you and kind of do something to betray you, move you out of your spot, whatever, this is going to be very plain to see that that's what this person did. Like, not just to you, but to everybody around. It's going to be plain to see that they kind of snaked you. OK, and I feel like that's going to have repercussions in their own path moving forward for their own life. But you can't really focus on that. you got to focus on your path. OK, so that's kind of what I'm getting. And the card that flew all the way across the room. So disrespectfully was the five of cups. So there could be some sadness that you're going to be healing from because something might happen unexpectedly. But you know what? If you're anything like me, like when you get punched, you it makes you want to fight harder right? When you get knocked down, it pisses you off and it makes you want to get up and it makes you want to prove everybody in this bitch wrong. Like if you're anything like me, Gemini, and I feel like whatever this is, it could open up a fighter spirit within you. Okay. Like you could be like, hell no, I'm going to take shit laying down. I'm actually going to build myself back up and I'm going to show everybody um, who exactly I am. Yeah, exactly. A fighting spirit. That's what I'm getting here. For some of you guys, there is definitely somebody who wants to take your ideas. This egg here is like, these are things that aren't really developed yet. This is something that it has a lot of potential, but it's not really here in the reality at the moment. So this is kind of feeling like somebody trying to take your ideas, Gemini. So make sure that you are protecting yourself, protecting your ideas, especially against like these funky co-workers that swear they're your bestie, right? Like I swear. We missed you, Gemini, right? We need to get together for lunch. We need to talk. It's like somebody trying to take your ideas, take your spot. I don't know. It's just something to be aware of, Gemini, because you have some kind of potential here that hasn't hatched yet. And I feel like you are defending that. You might be asked to defend yourself, Gemini, okay? That's just for some of you guys. I feel like you've invested a lot of time and effort and energy into something and it is going to end up with a higher commitment or you having a strong foundation in it. But there is this moment of like, yeah, I feel like somebody either trying to take something from you, undermine you, do something in the background, accuse you of something. For some of you guys, you might have to defend yourself. Okay. I'm like, what's going to happen if Gemini defends themselves? The star. It's like you're going to heal and you're going to shine and you're going to shine your authenticity too. So this is like somebody trying to like almost come for you. 
okay? And be like, oh, Gemini, you don't really do what you do and all that good stuff, right? And then you have to school them on what you actually do. And, and you'll be like, you know what? You sound like you know a lot about my life, but I'm going to explain to you what I actually do in a full fucking day, okay? A 10-hour work day. I'm going to explain to you what I do. And then when you go A, B, C, D, E, F, motherfucking G, okay, on their ass, they're going to be like, oh, right? It's like you are going to, there's something about that where you're going to overcome something and you're going to come out looking like you're a star. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The emperor energy, like, you know, so taking ownership of something where somebody might try to act like, you know, because didn't we, I had mentioned that I believe at the beginning of the reading at some point, like, what, how, how did you get here? You're not supposed to be here, right? Somebody might feel like that about you. I believe I mentioned that. Like, how did Gemini get this job? They, they're not qualified or what's going on? Yeah, you might have to show them why you got that job. That's just for somebody. I don't know. These are general messages, guys. Take it as it resonates always. The vacation card. We have the Ten of Cups that just flew out. These cards want to fly today. That one almost went off too. So, Gemini, it could be some time to like focus on your family. Like you don't, you're not on this planet just to work. You're not on this planet just to produce, just to pay your bills, just to worry about your debt, just to fucking like, you know what I mean? Keep some kind of high standard or something. Let me get a drink, guys. It's really time for you to like. Put the focus on the things that matter is what I'm getting, okay? So like your health, okay? Your happiness, building strong connections with your family, taking care of your family. Maybe you want to take your family on a vacation, Gemini. Maybe you do. Maybe you're like, you know what? Since you guys think you got it so much over here or whatever the hell's going on in this situation, maybe you might finally cash in them vacation days that you never use. That's for somebody, right? Um, for some of you guys, you're like, well, then you got it for two weeks, Fred, right? It's almost like that kind of energy, like have fun. I'm going to wherever with my family, okay? That is for some of you guys. For others of you, if something happens where, again, like you do move to something else or you're going to be transitioning into something else or something like that. Some of you guys, there could even be something where you're put on a probationary period. That is just for somebody or hours are cut for somebody. I don't know. I'm just giving what I'm getting, okay? If that happens, it's opening up more time for you to focus on your family and your connections and also your creativity here with this Ten of Cups, the things that bring you fulfillment and contentment. And you might find that when that happens, okay, it opens up new opportunities that you weren't even aware of because, again, you were so fucking busy focusing on whatever this is, which, of course, it's your job, right? <laughs> That's what this is. It's a financial reading. So it was your main source of income. That's what, of course, you're going to focus on it. Whatever this is, it might. So some of you guys might get pulled in the office and they might be like, oh, <sighs> they're doing cutbacks, Gemini, right? It's like giving me, you ever, I know y'all have had that conversation with somebody before where they're like, <sighs> that kind of energy. And it's like, you might have to go down to part time or something like that. Or as needed, like you're on call, like a doctor. I don't know. That's where somebody, I'm getting something like that. Okay. And I feel like you're at, initially, you might be like, what the fuck, right? And there might be all kinds of mixed emotions and feelings about this. But I think you're going to be okay. I think you've been told for a long time that something's coming. So to gather your resources, to save, to be smart, to make sure you have a backup plan, to focus on your purpose, focus on your passions, right? So this is actually, I feel like a good thing if something like that does happen for you, Gemini. It's opening something up for you. You're going to be able to focus on your family more because for some of you guys yeah you're trying to keep yourself in balance in a really toxic work situation okay a really toxic work situation and for some of you guys you taking that opportunity and making that choice to focus on you know going on a vacation taking some time off doing you pulling back focus on focusing excuse me on your passions and your purpose yeah it's gonna piss people off but you know you were pissing people off when you were focusing on what they wanted you to focus on and you were excelling, right? You were still pissing them off. It just sounds like they're angry fucking people and nothing's going to satisfy them. So fuck them, basically. Okay, let's get some more for this vacation. This vacation for Gemini. What is that? Oh, I'm on vacation every day because I love my occupation. I don't know what that song is, but I literally, I'm getting goosebumps, y'all. Like, damn, that's literally what we're talking about. Like, you could feel like you're on the, okay, spirit. <laughs> like, I'm like, is there anything else? Look. Look at that. I'm on vacation every day because I love my occupation. I don't know what song that is. But that's what I'm hearing. 
So Gemini, you could really feel soon like you're on vacation every day because you love your occupation, right? Or something like that. Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Like you want to do something that's connected to your heart space, okay? And there is some kind of wish fulfillment that's coming through. For some of you guys, if you do go on vacation, this is going to put things into perspective for you. You might even meet like a little lover or something or just have a good time. You know, you might just connect with your heart space or something. Be like, damn, life really doesn't suck. It just sucks what I've been doing, right? <laughs> like it's something like that. I feel like for some of you guys, that's the energy I'm getting. Like you're going to really like have an own moment on the beach or in the mountains or where desert, wherever you're going to vacation. Okay. And that's the kind of energy I'm getting. Like you're going to feel at peace and you'd be like, damn. And some of you guys, maybe you do something like that where you travel for work. So every day is like a vacation because that is your occupation. I don't know. That is for somebody. If that's the case, you're going to go on a really nice trip here soon. And you're going to find somebody, I feel like, again, because I do feel like for some of you, you're going to meet somebody through work. I feel that very strongly. That's not for everybody, obviously, but I feel it really strongly, especially for the ones that travel for work or you're traveling um, because you're tired of working. I don't know. There's something for those who are going to go on vacation. Some of you guys might get put last minute on a vacation by your work. That could be something that happens too. Like, oh, we don't normally do this, but we need somebody to go help do a meeting or help do like, um, I feel like there's somebody like if they're adding something onto your business, right? Or your company, like if they're like maybe your company works in different areas around the country or something like that. And so they're picking up a new area. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Or maybe you work in like a restaurant or a chain type of energy, a chain store, and they need help in a different area that is a little bit of a travel. You'd need to get a hotel room or you'd need to fly. That's for some of you guys. You're going to really enjoy it. You're going to really enjoy it. And I feel like you're going to connect with the people around you. Like you're really going to feel connected in this area. You're going to be like, damn, I feel like spirit sent me here because... It wanted to show me that this is where I'm supposed to not just work, but live. Like, I'm supposed to be here. Like, some of you guys might feel that way. Yes, I'm getting such goosebumps from head to toe. I feel like there's this energy here of, like, you're going to have a massive change of perspective, okay? If you are going on a vacation, again, you're going to have, like, a own moment on a, a beach or on a mountain or somewhere. Somewhere. You're going to have this moment where you're going to be like, life doesn't suck. It's just what I've been doing or who I've been connected to or what I've been focusing on. Like that's what sucks. It's not life. Life is good. Like you're going to feel that way, Gemini. That's for somebody. I feel that so strongly. And you're going to have this moment where you're just going to have a change of perspective. Some of you guys, if you, you love your occupation and every day feels like a vacation or whatever that song was that we picked up, I feel like there's something like that that changes your perspective. Like work can be fun or work can be satisfying. It doesn't have to be work. It doesn't have to feel like work. It's just what I've been focusing on. This grasshopper. So we need to keep it moving like Susan. This grasshopper energy. I always sit down and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do like a 10 minute reading. Yeah, right. Okay, so the eight of swords. Situations and balance that require careful handling. Like I said, there could be something here where you're going to have to move yourself out of this position where you feel stuck. Or you might feel like somebody has come in and they've moved you out of your position and now you feel mentally stuck. I do feel like if something happens where you transition from one thing to the next, there is going to be that moment where you have that anxiety. You know, that fear of the, the newness, the fear of the change, right? Change is so scary. And it's designed to be that way because you're jumping out of your comfort zone. You're trying something new. You're following your heart. It's not always easy. Sometimes it's easier to follow the logical path or the path that seems safe and comfortable, right? But what seems safe and comfortable, Gemini, I feel like isn't bringing you happiness at the moment, okay? That's for some of you guys. For others of you, there's just this feeling of like you're going to get moved out of this anyways and it's not going to matter. Like I hate to say that, but... It's, it's that's how it's going to feel like I don't have a choice now I'm, I'm shoved into the situation where now I have to make a leap or I have to you know this is a reality for some of you guys I don't know maybe you've been feeling something coming for a while that is just for somebody I don't know what that is okay I feel like you guys want to make a change but you feel like you have to do this very carefully you're unsure maybe you're lacking a lot of ideas or clarity here um with the strength energy yeah there really is that feeling here of needing to be brave needing to be strong okay especially if you take some kind of leap of faith or you do follow your heart you might feel a little like naive here or like oh my gosh what am i doing or you know but i feel like you're going to you're going to develop gemini you're going to come into a very stable grounded energy you just have to get past whatever this is in your mind, this mental block or this feeling of like stuckness is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what this tiger is because that might be 
related to that somehow. What is this tiger for Gemini? Doing something risky or taking a chance. You know, when you have to take a chance, when you do something risky, it is scary, right? For some of you guys, the five of cups, the death. What is this for Gemini? The magician with the five of wands. Let me see Gemini. There could definitely be this energy of feeling like you trusted the wrong person at one point, Gemini, okay, when it comes to work. Or maybe there was this, like, I would not do anything that's fraud related when it comes to your work, okay? Like, I wouldn't manipulate numbers. I wouldn't really trust people right now. Or, again, we already saw some kind of energy of keeping things to yourself. I feel very strongly with this tiger energy that you might have to take some kind of action that does make you feel a little bit sad or um, it makes you feel like a little bit stuck, okay? I don't know what this is, Gemini. We have the five of wands. We have the justice. This could definitely be something. Yeah. Okay. And then sail away. For some of you guys. For some of you guys, this is not going to be your energy. This is going to be the effects of what somebody else did. Somebody definitely was like hunting you or was a predator, right? They were doing something that they shouldn't have done in the background. We already saw that, okay? So this could be somebody who manipulated something. I feel like it makes you sad. I feel like it pisses you off. I feel like, but then you have this, it's like I'm getting like the sequence of events or like the, the reactions or like the emotional minefield that you go through. That's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like something happens. You find out that somebody manipulated something or that somebody, I feel like honestly is coming for you or something. That's what you feel like, okay? Then you instantly feel like a little bit sad and then you get a little bit pissed off and then you feel like, you know what? Everything's working out the way that it should and that you know, they're going to get their karma and, and if, if rejection is protection, right? Even in regards to money, I know I say it for love a lot, but it's for money too, you know, because again, something's opening you up to let you be able to focus on what you want to focus on. Okay. Um, so for some of you guys, you're going to find out that, all right. And then this is going to end something within you. It feels like of giving a fuck about this situation. Like I, this is the big sail away card. This is the little sail away card. What are you sailing into? Your power, Gemini. For some of you, yes. Okay. You're going to be left better off because of this. That is just what I'm getting. Now, another situa situation, excuse me, that I'm getting is that somebody has manipulated a contract and you're going to find out about this. Somebody has done that. I'm getting heavy manipulation with this magician energy. This is, again, going to make you sad, going to piss you off. But then maybe you're going to take some kind of legal action or something. You are going to stand up for yourself at some point. We saw that up here. I feel like when you do, that ends something and it ends something in a major way. Maybe this person has been doing this for a long time, manipulating people, trying to fuck people out of their money, their jobs, their positions, whatever. I feel like it's coming to the surface, Gemini. It's going to end a big cycle. It ends a smaller cycle for you, but it ends an even bigger cycle for this person. And I do feel like, again, you move into something that is far more suited for you. So take it as it resonates. That's not going to be for everybody. Obviously, this whole reading isn't going to resonate for everybody at every point, but you got to take what does, okay? Let's see what this owl is. This could be why you're going to get some good advice from somebody. You're like, because after, after this happens, you might be like, well, now what do I do, right? Will of fortune. Look, I feel like whatever you get, whatever advice or whatever information you seek out, because that can be what the owl is as well. It's like seeking out information or seeking out knowledge, right? Whatever you do, it changes things. I feel like you all of a sudden, this world opens up a world of opportunity. So for some of you guys, say like you do lose something or maybe you are pushed out of your position or something like that. You go seeking for like, okay, well, what else is out there then, right? Because I ain't really been on the job market. I haven't been looking for anything because I've been in this. So let me go see what's out there. And it's like, damn, there's actually a whole bunch like, you're going to find out that. Yeah, you're going to, that's, I feel like this is what's going to happen, Gemini. And when it does happen, you're going to instantly feel like, okay, something is coming into balance or this is just, this is going to be just, like, it's okay. Somebody could also give you really good legal advice and that will make you feel like, oh, okay, right? You can take a hold of your situation. Because if you're like unlawfully let go or there's something that's manipulated or something that you can prove, Gemini, like somebody might hack into your work stuff and there's a paper trail or something like that, okay? Um, I feel like that's going to change things as well. Like you might do a little bit of your own research or get somebody to do some research for you of like, well, how did this number change? Because it was just this and da, 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 and 
that's what's going to change things. I don't know, Gemini. It really does feel like you have somebody in regards to money, okay? It really does feel like you might have somebody behind the scenes that is trying to fuck with things, is trying to manipulate things, is trying to make you come off in a bad light. Yes, thank you, Spirit. I do feel like there is this person here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, Some of you guys, this is like a friend who's not really a friend. They act like they are, but they're not. That's for some of you guys, okay? For others of you, this high priestess, it actually makes a lot of sense coming out on top of the owl because that's talking about your intuition. So for some of you guys, that's what you're going to be focusing on, following your intuition. If you are opening up any kind of spiritual business or developing that or moving into that more, you're going to feel like this all happened for a reason. Like, you know, this is your soul's purpose. This is what you're meant to do anyways, you know, but I do feel like you are focused on moving forward, right? Developing the potential moving forward. That's what I get with the Knight of Pentacles. He's going after that Ten of Pentacles, right? This is what I can offer into this now, but I want to develop more. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. All right, let's get some advice and additional messages. Okay, Gemini. Money, please. We have experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Yeah. So do what you do with love, Gemini. Even if you really don't necessarily like what you're doing right now, do it with love because what you're attracting is that grace back to you, okay? For sure. We have the Holy Spirit. Expect miracles. Remember that only love is real and miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Yeah. So that's very important, actually. Remember that only love is real. What's the opposite of love? Well, it's fear, right? So whatever you're fearing in this situation, whatever fear that may be provoked by whatever situation that some of you guys might be going through or might go through soon, that's an illusion, okay? That's an illusion. That fear is an illusion. It's an illusion that you've lost your job. It's an illusion that you don't, you're not where you want to be, okay? Because you're getting to where you want to be or you losing your job, that's not a, a loss. That was a blessing for you to put you on the right path. That is for some of you guys. It's about shifting your perspective and maybe you will, again, shift your perspective over here once you start doing things that you love or focusing the energy on things that you love. It's like, you know what? I don't have a job today, right? I, I lost my job, okay? I lost my job yesterday, so I don't have a job today. But you know what I can do today? I can go ahead and spend some time with my kids, while these applications roll through or while, while I figure out what I'm going to do next, I can spend some time with my kids. I can take them to the park. I can go for a walk, right? Something about that. It puts things into perspective for you. So remember that only love is real. The fear that you're feeling, it's not real. It's an illusion. Miracles are going to occur naturally and spirit does have your back, okay? Ooh, I got goosebumps again, guys. I've been getting goosebumps this entire reading. Mercury, open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be hard. Or, ooh. It says, I read be hard, but it's be heard. I was like, damn, you about to be like, and when I say hard, I mean like rough, like tough. Okay. Like that's, I don't know who that's for, but some of you guys might do like that whole, what is that? Is that from half baked where he's like, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool. And fuck you, I'm out. That could be for some of you guys. You don't really need to even do that though. You don't need to say anything, prove anything. You have nothing to prove, right? But for some of you guys, yeah, you might want to tell somebody something on your way out. Be like, actually, you know, I want to let you know that working for you is like working for the devil itself. And maybe you should work on your fucking uh, people skills, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Please don't listen to my advice. <laughs> Please don't do that and say that. All right, phases and cycles, okay? There is a beginning within every ending. Look, illusions are revealed and released. I'm telling you, there's something about that for somebody, okay? Inner strength, move back to wholeness and recognize that you have the power because that's what's going to happen. Somebody might want to try to act like they're taking their, your power away from you, Gemini, but they're not. Really what they're doing is they're giving you the power back, okay? Because they did have the power. That was what all your focus, your energy, everything was going into. Putting up with these bird bitches at work and whatever it is, Gemini, that we picked up in this reading. But them feeling like they're taking the power away from you is actually giving it back to you. Because now, again, there's something that's being grown here. There's something that's coming in that's new that's going to be really connected to your heart space. Okay? All right, Gemini. Take that as it resonates. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.